Hi everybody, this is Agnes from No Sediment and today we're going to look at 7 great gifts for a wine lover. Picking a great gift is never easy, right? There are people who are wine geeks in the best sense of this word. They will know the specific size of each vineyard, soil type, exposition, and so on. There are also friends who simply like wine and want to make more educated decisions when choosing one and maybe from time to time discover something new. And then there are all wine enthusiasts somewhere between. But picking gift to any of them might seem a bit intimidating. Hopefully I am here to help. I will link most of the gifts I mention here in the description below. All of these gift ideas are personally checked by me and I can say with full confidence that I would be thrilled to find any of these under my Christmas tree. So here are 7 great gifts for a wine lover. If you're looking for a gift for a wine lover, chances are great that they have already a good corkscrew. However, not everyone has a cork pooler. And this is a wine gadget that wine lovers don't know that they actually need. It is so easy to extract cork with one of these. And even though most will say that this is meant for older vintage bottles, which is right, because this pooler doesn't need to cut the cork in order to extract it, it also works amazingly well with corks of younger wines. Another thing, which is no small matter, even the greatest wine professionals sometimes break the cork while opening a bottle of wine. This is one of the best ways to extract that small cork left over at the bottle neck without pushing it into wine or shredding it into pieces that float over your wine when pouring into the glasses. Coravin system. I actually have always been a bit skeptical about the system and I still am. But here comes story. I bought my first Coravin system a very long time ago and I was using it actively. It definitely prolongs lifetime of an open bottle of wine, however maybe not as long as they claim, at least for my nose. And I have always been open about it. But then I broke it and I didn't have it for a while. And only then I realized how many unfinished great bottles of wine I was throwing out or constantly adding to my stew when cooking. I really, really missed it and decided to buy a new one. So even though it does not necessarily keep wine fresh for half a year, Coravin system still works and preserves your wine way longer than it would otherwise without it. It will be a great gift for those who don't like to finish a single bottle in one sitting, but like to enjoy it over a period of time. And also to anyone who is studying wine and constantly must open new bottles of wine for tastings. My personal suggestion would be choose a model with a darker color. Because when pouring red wine, with the time the connection parts will show marks and it will not look as clean and tidy. Cordovin itself, of course, is a very expensive and fancy gift. And if your friend already has it, one can never have too many argon gas capsules for refill. Another great accessory for Cordovin are the needles. I use one for vintage wine, which diameter is smaller, thus ensuring smaller hole in the cork and therefore possibly longer life for a wine. A book is probably one of the greatest gifts ever. Some wine books are great for people who study, such as more technical ones. For example, Understanding Wine Technology by Master of Wine David Bird. This book is must-have for anyone who studies WSET Level 3 and up. Also in this category are books by Jamie Good, Flawless and Authentic Wine. However, if your geeky wine friend is more into specific wine regions and want to discover them more deeply, look for books such as Champagne by Peter Liam. It includes amazing maps, by the way. Inside Burgundy by Jasper Morris or Native Wine Grapes of Italy for Italian Wine Lovers by Ian Diagata. I have listed and linked wine books of different categories in the description. Wine glasses. These are also always welcome because, you know, they break. We all vow to never put them in the dishwasher and only wash them by hands, yet at some point we always do. If your friend is slightly snobby and insists on choosing a specific wine glass for each grape or wine style, then all you have to do is find out 
which is his or her favorite wine style and find a corresponding wine glass. Riedel is fancy that way. They have created a glass shape for almost every major wine style. If, however, like me, they simply like the aesthetics of a beautiful wine glass, your job is much easier. My everyday go-to wine glass is Riedel Old World Serra. It used to be New World Pinot Noir, and I love elegance of the Veritas line. For more fancy dinner tables, Zalto will be a great option. I guarantee you won't have had a lighter and more delicate wine glass in your life. And while we're on the subject, we all, at least I, love clean and shiny glasses. And even if you are using a dishwasher for your wine glasses, they probably will need some polish before they go into the shelf. And it's best not to use the same towel where you dry your hands or clean the surfaces at your kitchen. The best ones will not leave marks or fabric dust. At home, I use Riedel microfiber cloth. I think I actually received my first Decanter Wine magazine subscription as a gift for Christmas. And since then, I have always tried to renew it for each next year. I find a lot of necessary information in there, exciting articles on upcoming and trendy wine regions, reviews and scores of wines, vintage reports, and so on. It is also a great way to stay up to date with all the current events and hot topics of the wine world. The Decanter Wine magazine is available both in online and print version. If, however, your friend already has Decanter Wine magazine subscription, there are many more wine subscriptions worth exploring. For example, Guildsome, Jancis Robinson's Purple Pages, or for those geeky Bordeaux wine lovers, The Wine Doctor. wine basket created by my friend Martin Spielands of My Wine Design. This might not be must-have for every wine lover, but it is very practical for those who have an extensive wine cellar, be it wine enthusiast or winemaker. It works very well if you want to pick up several different bottles and not necessarily have them in the box. You can choose different colors and sizes for four or six bottles. These wine baskets are sturdy and they are actually perfect for picnics and outdoor cookings, as you can also switch wine bottle for a wine glass. And finally, I would like to say that bottle of wine will always be a great gift for a wine lover. Because ultimately, we, the wine lovers, are looking for that great bottle of wine to open and enjoy together with our friends and family. Yet, as I said before, it might be a bit intimidating to buy a wine for a hardcore wine enthusiast. Even harder if he or she is a bit snobbish. So my suggestion would be, unless you want to go for those prestige where champagnes, this time I'll leave the big brands out. Look for smaller, family-owned wineries, grower champagnes, it is a safer bet. First of all, these are harder to get, but not more expensive. And some of them have even acquired a cult-like status, always very appreciated by wine lovers. Secondly, you might find and buy a bottle of wine that is unknown to your wine friend, and therefore this can bring an excitement on its own to open, to taste and discover. Cheers to you all and may the holiday season be joyous and peaceful and spent with your favorite people. By the way, if you're looking for a good wine pairing for your Christmas dishes, I have a video for it.